University Avenue is the main commercial corridor that uh, connects downtown Minneapolis with St. Paul. And along the way, it, it also connects a variety of neighborhoods from among the poorest in the region, Frogtown, to some of the more wealthy communities such as Prospect Park. It also has a great variety of land uses. University United is a coalition of 10 community organizations and these include not only the five district councils along University Avenue, but also the community development corporations, in addition to the eight business representatives. So we've been around for 30 years. We function pretty much on uh, brick and mortar type development issues. And what I'd like to do is talk about one corner that we've had a very long history with, the southwest corner of University Avenue and Lexington Parkway as a way of explaining what University United does. Uh, about nine years ago, Home Depot came in and proposed to build a conventional suburban style big box development. And uh, we started a conversation. We had some concerns. We wanted to do a site analysis to see if this project made sense. So we basically determined that there were so many important opportunities at this 40 acre site with about 20 acres immediately available for redevelopment that we thought it would be appropriate to bring forward uh, some alternative ideas. We as an organization advocate for what's now known as transit-oriented development, higher densities, which means more jobs per acre, uh, more housing units, a mix of uses with more benefits to the residents and the businesses that are here. We brought in a variety of um, architects and developers. We had some community meetings. So Home Depot, uh, backed out of the project. There were other proposals which we had a very strong and active engagement with. What we have on the corner today, in addition to the Aldi's and the two-story TCF bank, we have a four-story uh, corporate uh, headquarters for the Wilder Foundation, which is a tremendous project that really fulfills all of the requirements that we had for this very, very important corner. Over 300 jobs, and the consolidation of a very, very strong community partner. Uh, we also have a senior affordable housing project developed by Episcopal Homes. It's called Cardi Heights. So what could have been a single story, a four acre big box has now evolved into a mix of uses and we hope for better things uh, ahead. But that gives an overview of how University United can actively get engaged in every step of uh, development such as what we now see at Lexington and University. To better enhance our ability to provide these kinds of services, we opened a community-based planning studio called UPlan. And that brings in state-of-the-art technological resources into a much more effective planning process. So at UPlan we use uh, technological tools to, uh, to make planning projects real and we make a lot of our 3D models available to the public. So this is a model that we did of the Wilder Foundation building. And you can see this is uh, University Avenue and uh, Lexington. And so we can zoom in, orbit around the building. So we use these tools in workshops and public settings to show what is proposed. Uh, a lot of times developers will come in with um, elevations and plans that really don't make sense to the average citizen. So bringing it into the third dimension, we can uh, have a better understanding of uh, density and uh, the location of parking lots. It's a, it's a great tool to, um, to really visualize uh, what is possible. We're also very actively now working with the businesses along University Avenue. There had never been a University Avenue Business Association. We started one. Um, and it has really picked up steam over the last uh, year with now over 165 active members, very actively engaged, very focused on the light rail project. And I definitely see that as a long-term uh, and important uh, resource for the community. Well, as to where we're going in the future, as a CDC, a little different than the other CDCs along the corridor, in that we would be probably looking at larger scale projects, uh, large mixed use projects, brick and mortar for sure, um, and perhaps filling what is a void now on the western end of the avenue. The other CDCs really stop their service area around Snelling Avenue. Our community goals ultimately come back to economic equity, uh, more livable communities, and more benefits for the people who live and work along University Avenue.